How can I help make experiential learning meaningful for my students? Student experiences in EL activities vary, and they can impact students in different ways. Meaningful EL is purposeful and relevant, allowing students to learn through self-discovery and meaningful relationships. In EL, the student should be prompted to assume the role of self-teacher, to go beyond basic expectations and requirements, internalize their learning, and set their own goals. Remember that your students are busy people and will be juggling other commitments. Some may be engaged in multiple EL activities and different courses within the same semester. Help students anticipate challenges and balance time and responsibilities. Discuss with them how an EL experience can be broken down into smaller, more manageable parts. Providing access to additional resources that support their learning can go a long way in ensuring students are set up for success. This is a demanding class for any chair to have in his or her department. Um, in order to do a full production in a semester, there aren't enough hours. So we have to divide into groups and to, to, to rehearse different scenes at the same time. Because of the nature of the, um, the labs and that we are using actual equipment and there can be some danger, we um, expect from the students professional behavior and they all sign off. They have to be in their, um, their uniform, um, their demeanor, they have to respect the lab. They have to understand that they are, and they learn very quickly that they're using real needles and those needles are sharp. Um, when they're breaking the glass ampules, um, they get to realize very quickly that it just takes a second to cut yourself. So um, we do have standards in place and they do thankfully take it very seriously and it, it's not a, um, like, we try to make it enjoyable for them. We don't want it a stressful situation. We're not expecting them to be experts at the end of the course. What we're trying to do is give them a really good foundation and um, um, a skill set. They cannot be experts at it, so we don't want them stressed out about it and to respect the, the dangers that can happen. Be open-minded to trying something, uh, risk-taking, getting out there in the community. See this as a connecting vehicle, right? That, that you actually have the opportunity to liaise with people who might hire you someday, right? That, that, that um, experiences like this shouldn't be a thought about as being, a, oh, I've got to go and it's going to take so much time you know, rather reframe it and think, okay, this is something that can connect me to the goals that I have for my long-term career outcomes. In my placement, I needed to do a, an objective learning. Uh, yes, my learning objectives. So it's a report where after you know what are you going to do in your placement, so you can have your ideas clearer. So you need to write the objectives you want to performance in your co-op? You know, for me, um, certainly time management, um, you know, uh, adaptability, um, being able to take on uh, those new challenges and experiences um, and being able to, uh, to adapt to them. You know, student government, um, board of governors, um, is just kind of deciding what is the best fit um, for me um, and really just deciding um, what opportunities to take advantage of. To take advantage of all of the opportunities that you have to just have a conversation with the professionals or the team that you're working with in the field because they have a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge that you can draw from and you can learn a lot from them. So for me, um, I always ask questions of my project manager and the nurses and the hospital staff to kind of gain an insight as to what they do every day and how quality improvement um, could impact their division or their department at the hospital and I really learned a lot from that, more than I would ever have learned from a textbook. The experiential learning opportunity that I had, I was super passionate about, so it didn't feel like extra work or something that I had to make a lot of extra time for. It just became part of my, my everyday, so um, making a little bit of time for it every day, uh, if it's something that you're really passionate about, was really easy for me to do. Um, but if it is something that you're um, having a hard time balancing, I think it's important to kind of rely on the team that you have around you. Um, make sure that you set deadlines for yourself. Um, make plan, like plan, be planful of your time and, and know that there's support available for you. At Brock, there was a lot of really great support with my professor that supervised my work that I was doing. And if I was ever having a bit of a challenge with my project or finding time to maybe go to a, do a site visit or, or things like that, they were always available and helped me strategize ways to be successful. Leave that comfortable zone. Try it. 
you need to try different things. You needed to go behind, you needed to look for a job that you really want. If you don't find that job, don't be afraid, create your job. I did that. I didn't have the co-op that I wanted. And I created my co-op program. I created my co-op opportunity. And with the mentorship that they can find in any school or in the local cities, they can be successful. They have it just to give it their best. And then knowing that challenge is good, make us grow as a person, as a professional.